Oh, praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is just uh, something quick, just a little spiritual gem that I know, um, that I noticed. I was listening to uh, um, one of the brothers, and um, he was talking about tithing. Okay, and my thing is that if you believe that these are the men, then you should tithe. You know, they don't they don't ask for a lot. As far as I know, they don't ask for anything, right? But um, yeah, you know, you know, you, you still have to do do something. You know, give what you can. I guess you know. The most I know. Um, each and every one of our situations, right? right? This is Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, when have we robbed thee? And tithes and offerings, you see? All I'm saying is that, like I said, E.J. situation is different, right? But the most now I know, we gave um, what and to whom who, okay? So, um, yeah, like I'm saying... You know, get what you can, right? I mean, it does say that you should tie, right? So, yeah, it, it, it don't hurt to, to, to give something, okay? If you, if you believe that these are the men, which I do, then you should give something, right? Yeah, and um, um, Apostle uh, Gabar and um, Apostle Rakal Taha and... Um, uh, Ram, uh, forgive me, um, forgive me, um, can't get the name right, but yeah, you guys, you Jakes know who I'm talking about, right, so I'm gonna tell you what happened to me, because I was thinking about it, because I hadn't given in a second, right, and, um, I was listening to one of the brothers, and he was going into it, about the dream he had, <laughs> yeah, I was listening to this brother, uh, GMS Awakening 144, right, so, um, he right, you know, he right, you know, so, um, I was thinking to myself, well, um, what am I saying? I'm not going to tell nobody my business concerning that, but I was thinking, what should, you know, what should I send? You know, I had a few extra dollars and, um, I said, all right, well, I'm, I'm a, cause I originally was going to send a certain amount and then I decided I'm going to send double, right? And then something strange happened. Okay. <clears throat> I go to get my um, a morning coffee, and um, it was a car in front of me with a lot of people, and it was like they took a minute, and then they left, and then I get to the window, and I order something, and the lady was like, well, put your money away. I was like, why? She's like, because the people in the car in front of you already paid for it and I kind of started smiling because right before then like I said I was thinking about what I was going to send to the apostles and I was like thinking to myself well I'm going to send double you know and um somebody already took care of it for me that to me that was spiritual right now I'm not telling nobody what I said I know that's personal you know you're supposed to uh, give and pray in secret right and the most I bless you you know, openly, right? So, the me that was spiritual because it was already paid forward for me, right? So, when you give, you know, the most high, he over, he overflow your coffers, right? So, to me, that was beautiful because that was a sign that, you know, we gonna all be good, right? Whatever you think is, is coming out of your pocket, the, the most high, he, he give you that way more than you can ever imagine, okay? This is 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for your how love a cheerful giver. So, yeah, you know, and, and like I said, I, I wasn't even really, um, you know, I just decided to give double, you know, and I had a few extra dollars and I was like, well, these men, you know, I believe those were the men sent back. Okay. And I had many dreams seeing it. And, you know, if you believe it, then you should show it. Okay. And it's not just showing it because you have money to send. You, you're showing it through your works, right? 
Man, faith is a gift. What what greater gift is it is is that that we you know that you can pretty much get. So I was like, look, I'm gonna send it. And um the whole day people was just being nice, you know, getting little extra things, you know. To me that was a sign, you know, that the most high and his angels is watching. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out to the family. That was cool how um when I decided to um you know, send some money in, you know, and send it cheerfully, all of a sudden somebody took care of me, okay? That's a sign, you know, to me that the most high he going to take care of us, okay? Going to give what you can, man. It, 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 it is part of it's part of the law. Right, but luckily these brothers they ain't like some of these these they ain't like some of these other men out here teaching, whereas though you know if if you if you can't send your ten percent, they on your neck, no, they ain't like that, okay, I just Hebrews seven verse one for this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high, Yahweh, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Without father, without mother, without descent, having not the beginning of days, nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, a body, a priest continually. So yeah, if you believe these the men like I, how I believe, go on and, and and give what you can, man. If the most high no jig ain't out, jig ain't out here with no sheep, no land, no cattle, you know, no billy goats. Jig ain't out here like that, you know. Even though you got jigs out here who, who acting like billy goats, you know, that's them two thirds. But um, yeah, man, I believe these the men, you know. So yeah, that was that was my little spiritual gem, you know, when I. When I decided to give cheerfully, you know, because like I said, I haven't in a while, so, you know, I'm I'm wrong for that, you know, so, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna repent about that, but, you know, give what you can, man. And when I decided to do that, people started giving me things immediately, you know. So that was my experience. I just called it a little spiritual gem. Hopefully, you got something out of it. And hopefully, hey, the Most High here do a lot more for you, right? And for all of us, I'm going to go and shut it down. I'll see you again real soon. Shalom. <clears throat> yeah, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Like I said, I believe. I believe those are those men. All right. Shalom. <laughs>